Hello there guys, Coast Chow here, Dogs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a huge update from King's Dominion on a couple of different things, but of course they are linked. Uh, now of course we do have a little update on a uh, teaser that we saw for the for the new project for the 2022 coaster, the SNS 43 spin at King's Dominion, but also the closure of one of the current coasters throughout this season, and it links in a way to the 2022 coaster. Now we do have a Screamscape report on this. We're going to share all the information and share my thoughts on this. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Also, guys, check out the description for the Screamscape article, social media links, Google Forms, if you've got any so, uh, video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on at Kingston Minion. So to put it in perspective, uh, Avalanche, the bobsled coaster, will be closed for the entire 2021 season. This is not hopefully the first step towards retirement as the unique Mac bobsled coaster was always a favourite of Screenscape and a rare find as it only a coaster of its kind in the Americas. The closure of Avalanche likely has more to do with the new coaster for 2022, which based on the pieces already spotted on site months ago, will be an SNS 40 free spin coaster. With the new coaster room which will be placed on the former site of the crypt, formerly known as Tomb Raider Firefall, uh, with construction of the new coaster to take place on the left side of the path to Avalanche and the remains of the volcano, the blast coaster demolition site on the right side of the same path, it's easy to see that there's no easy way to access Avalanche. So we'll leave it closed for now, but hopefully get a bit of refurbishment done in the process. So potential for a refurbishment there. But let's have a look at the second piece of news. Uh, from this and this is on the brand new teaser spotted at the park so you can see on your screen right now screenshots about three screenshots of the video sorry the the pictures are a little bit well not a little bit but they're a bit blurred uh, but it was quick screenshots as the video was passing by and it was a video from King's Dominion Fanatic so credit go for the full video goes to King's Dominion Fanatics uh, but the screenshots show uh, some large shipping crates and a sort of hint about the ride's crazy free spinning cars the this end up stickers on the crates mostly being ignored with crates set down facing sideways and upside down in the group the assort the sort of crates are labeled from being from croft industries and being shipped to livingston and Co company doswell virginia now, we don't know enough about the park's history and past attractions, especially in the unique area of the park, to make all the connections, but they can speculate a bit about the use of the names Croft and Livingston. The use, the most obvious use of the name Croft, could be deliberate misspelling of the name Croft as a reference to Lara Croft, the star of the Tomb Raider game and films, and of course the star of the Firefall attraction which became known as the Crypt. Uh, now, this makes sense the location of the new coaster is supposed to take over the former location of that ride. Uh, later renamed into the crypt when Cedar Fair bought the part from Paramount and removed all the Paramount owner IPs intellectual properties now the reference to Livingston and company is a reference to Livingston's the name of a former restaurant and arcade building in the Safari Village area of the park now we're told that the actual building is still in the park and it's currently the home of the Outer Hanks restaurant so a couple of little Easter eggs in the teasers there but overall it seems like Kings Dominion know exactly what they're doing so there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is talking about the brand new uh teasers for 2022 for their brand new free spin coaster and also talking about the avalanche and why it will not be likely that this will be permanently removed from the park uh now obviously it is going to be sad to see a, a rare coaster for the americas uh close for the season it is a shame but you know, I, I do see this as being a temporary thing. It won't, it won't be full-time. It won't be a permanent retirement. It won't be a step towards retirement. I think that Avalanche will come back next season in 2022. I think with um, with the free spin coaster as well. You know, I, I, I do feel like that uh, the time will come when Avalanche returns. And I think that it will return bigger and better than ever. I think that, you know, as the article from Screamscape said. Massive shout out to Screamscape, by the way. Um... As the article said, you know, I think uh, there's room and potential for, the, for it to get a, a major refurbishment. And I think that if you could, even even just little bits here and there, like refurbish some of the track or uh, the train design or, you know, just little supports here and there or foundations or just, just little refurbishments here and there, just a little, you know, replacements here and there. And I think it's all sorted. Uh, now, in terms of the Croft Industry teasers, the large shipping crates teasers, the This Way Up stickers as well, 
Um, Croft Industries to Livingston and Company in Doswell, Virginia. My word, how they like to drop Easter eggs on us in America. Uh, <laughs> um, I wish I was in America. Um, but it sounds interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. The Croft Industries is definitely a reference to Lara Croft in terms of the old Tomb Raider Firefall attraction, which later became known as The Crypt. Um, and the Living Stones, obviously the reference to the restaurant. It's um, it's nice to see Easter eggs from King. I, I love it when theme parks do Easter eggs. It's, it's absolutely fan dabby dozy uh but there we go guys thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now my name is coach Chow. keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a king's tastic day Ooh.